What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some more video game pickups. Now normally on this series, I will have mostly all digital games that I purchased from the PlayStation Store. So most of the time I just talk about my recent PlayStation Store games that I purchased when they were on sale. However, I actually have a physical copy today that I'm going to be sharing with you. Now, like I mentioned in every pickup video, I have a lot of games on backlog and that's why I have another series talking about the games that I recently played and finished because that helps me clear out a lot of backlog if I'm playing the games to try to finish them to talk about them in a video. So I'm going to be talking about the games that I recently picked up. I'm really excited and I tend to always pick up games and add them to my backlog because I know eventually I will play them. So up first, a game that I wanted to try out for a really long time is Far Cry 3. I picked this one up for $4 on the PlayStation Store. Now the first game that I played for Far Cry was Far Cry 5 and I absolutely love it. I got the platinum out of it. Then I went and played Far Cry New Dawn which is after the events of Far Cry 5. Loved it, got the platinum for it. So I ended up seeing this one for $4 for Far Cry 3. I got it. Right now I recently just went and played the tutorial and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. The trophies, a lot of people I hear and I talk to say that it's really easy to get the Platinum, so I think it's going to be one that I really will enjoy to play. But I also purchased another Far Cry game. I actually went and purchased the same time I bought 3. I went and purchased Far Cry 4, and it was on sale for $8. So both of these Far Cry games for $12, I thought that was an amazing deal. So Far Cry 4, I never tried, tried it out yet. I plan to play Far Cry 3 first, and then play Far Cry 4. Um, and I hope to get them finished before I get Far Cry 6. If I don't get both Far Cry 3 and Far Cry 4 finished before Far Cry 6 is released or by the end of the year, then I'll probably wait for Far Cry 6 until next year around Christmas because it will not only be at a reduced price, but then I already have two Far Cry games that I'm trying to work on and Far Cry 6 would be pushed until the back. There's no point in purchasing it if I'm not going to be playing it right away. The next game is the physical game that I purchased recently to try out, and that is Thief. Now this game here, I honestly didn't know anything about it. I purchased it around the same time, or sorry, at the same time I purchased Deadpool, which was the last pickup video. Now this one here, there was a deal that day, and whenever I went in for Deadpool, I seen this game, and I went to the checkout and said, is there any deals going on for used games? And they said that if you come back tomorrow, Tuesday, they're going to have buy one, get one 50% off. So this game was supposed to be $10 at EB Games. It was only $5. It was the game that I got for 50% off. So $5 for a game that I wanted to try out that I knew nothing about, in my opinion, was a great deal. Now I started to play it, and in my opinion, knowing nothing about the game going into it, it really has the Uncharted series vibe to it with the parkour and the jumping and trying to find your treasures. I thought that was cool. It has the Batman Arkham dark, uh, gruel, gruesome aspect to it as well from the Batman Dark uh, Arkham series, but it also has a few other games incorporated into it from the styles from whatever I can tell. So I did enjoy the game. However, it got really boring really quick. I think I'm three levels away and I've beaten the game. Hopefully I will finish it off soon, but this game was only $5. So for $5 for a game you never played and for a game you didn't know anything about to try it out, $5 isn't that bad. It eventually got really repetitive and really boring. And right now I think I have three levels left before I beat the game. And then this one's just going to go in my collection on my shelf. So that one was nice to get. I tend to now, I've been recently looking more and more at the used copies of the EB games and getting the deals. And now that I know Tuesdays, they usually have buy one, get one 50% off, or they have special deals on Tuesdays. I'm going to, in the future, whenever I'm near an EB games, go on a Tuesday and look at their used games, see if there's anything else I can add to my collection. And the last game that I recently picked up shortly after its PS4 release was Cuphead. Shortly after it was released on the PlayStation 4, it was on sale and it was $26. Now, I'm not sure if it was only on sale because it was just coming out on the PS4 when it's been on the Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, Steam for since it was released a couple of years back. 
So I don't know if just because it's coming over to the PS4, they had it on sale or moving forward, if this is gonna be the regular price on the PS4 since the game is technically a few years old and it's just coming over to the PS4 now. Now, normally for me, I do not like side scrollers. They're not just for me. I know some are really nice and there's a lot of gems out there, but side scrollers for the most part are not what I like, unless it's the classic Kirby or Mario on the NES. I'm okay with those, but anything else side scrollers are just not for me. This game, however, since it has the 50s cartoon artwork design to it, is really interesting and I've been playing it here and there, but it's a really tricky game and I have not got my timing down, I haven't gotten used to it yet, and since I've been playing this in between some of my other main games, Whenever I have time to make this one of my main games that I'm trying to play and beat, hopefully I'll be able to get better at it. But as of right now, I'm just playing it in between some of my main games, some of the games I've already started and I'm really close to finishing. Once I finish them and clear out a little bit more of my backlog, I'm hoping to make this one of my main games and start diving into it, trying to finish off the game. It is going to be a hard platinum. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it, but I at least want to see how far I can get into it. And also, if you guys want to see me live stream this game, I might do that in the future. If it's something you guys want to see on my channel, let me know. $26. That is usually more expensive than the games that I purchase for this series, but also for my backlog for my games. But it's a game I definitely wanted to check out. It's just a really hard game, but I'm also really enjoying it but I do get frustrated really quick, so I can't right now play it too long until I make it one of my main games. But these are the games that I recently picked up to add to my collection and eventually play. Thief, I'm almost finished. Far Cry 3, I'm gonna dive into that really soon. And then once that's done, get Far Cry 4. And hopefully if I get them finished before the end of the year, I'll get Far Cry 6 and closer to the holidays, hopefully. We will see. If not, I'm going to get Fire Cry 6 next year at a reduced price. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below out of the games that I recently picked up. Which one's your favorite? I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.